Alright, so in this video I'm just going to show how to take a subtool, duplicate it, and mirror it to the other side. So I've decided that I want to just use this single subtool and um, antenna and position it into all these spots as well as over here so that I don't have to re-sculpt the detail on there. So let's alt click on the one we want to get rid of and come over to subtool palette and just click delete and then I'm just going to do the same thing with the antenna and it does just let you know that this is not an undoable operation so just be sure that you actually want to get rid of it so now I'm going to click back on the one that I want to duplicate and I'm going to click duplicate and then we're going to come down to deformation and we've got all these really cool things in here you can play with them all uh, on your own time if you'd like but for example um, let's just do a bend you can see there's some crazy stuff happening there we can play around with all those but the one that we're looking for right now is mirror and you can change the axis but I just want the X so we're gonna click mirror and then this note pops up this function cannot be applied to a mesh with multiple subdivision levels. Okay, so all we got to do then is go back up to the subtool and, or sorry, geometry palette, and you can see that there's these different subdivision levels still. So we're just going to hit delete lower, del lower. And once that's done, we can then pop back over to our deformation palette and then click mirror and then you can see what's happened there is it basically put it in the exact spot that we want it to be so the only thing uh, that you probably want to do is make sure that your model is completely done being sculpted on and um, this is not so I probably uh, I forgot about that little piece of it so I'll probably end up deleting this and just finishing that eyeball before I actually um, do that um, mirror. The other thing that I wanted to do a little bit of was um, some move scale and rotate just to make it look not exactly the same. So one thing that you can see here is the gizmo is not centered uh, with the eyeball so when rotating it it's not exactly uh, rotating from the bottom. So one way, to, there's a couple different ways to change this. One way would be to this little lock button right here, these on the menu items above the gizmo. If you click that and then drag, you can just change the orientation of the gizmo and then lock it again. So if I was to lock that and then do a rotation, you can see now it's rotating from that point in space. So um, the other one is just go to go to unmasked mesh center which is probably the easier so actually but that is going to the center point which is a little high there you would probably not want to rotate it from there either for an object like this you'd probably want it to be down on the base so let's just unlock that again and let's just kind of move this manually to right about where we want it to be rotating from so now when I lock that again you can see yeah now I have better control over the um, orientation of the gizmo here so I was just gonna change a couple things rotate that a little bit in space um, I kind of like that with the eye facing outwards a little bit I think that looks pretty cool and I'm also going to just scale up a little bit so that I thought it would look good for the eyes to be uh, a little bit off they're not normally the same on a real crab there's one that's smaller normally so let's do this um, again with the gizmo just to get this down by the the base of this eyeball and then lock it and I'm gonna do the same thing here I'm just gonna turn this one and just pull it in a little bit and while I was, while I was actually working here um, I this, um, am thinking now that um, 
when I look at it from a distance, he's starting to look really cool, but I kind of feel like the face is like slightly too humanoid looking. So I'm going to try um, just altering the mesh a little bit more uh, with the move tool, but I do need to just drop down my geometry a little bit before I go ahead and do something like that. So let's look at the first subdivision level and let's um, pull our draw size like up really big so we can modify a lot of this. And I'm going to hit BMT for the move topological. And I'm, I think this might look pretty cool if I do something like this just to um, kind of change up the way. I, I kind of feel like the way it was before was just a little too human looking. Maybe this will help it look a little more like a creature or an alien. And that's already looking pretty crazy. Let's uh, pull our divisions back up. Look at it from a distance. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure if I like that. But it is pretty crazy looking. subdivisions down a little bit. Yeah, so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that or stick with the uh, the original look, but I'm going to stop this video right here because we got the point across about the um, um, the duplicating and the mirroring, and we looked at the gizmo a little bit, so I think this is a good stopping point here.